Hello, I'm Kalpe Lata from the Asian Institute for Human Rights and I will be facilitating this course on fact-finding and documentation. You may have already completed the first course produced by us titled Application of Human Rights Framework, The Basics. This course builds on that introductory course and focuses on fact-finding and documentation. This course has been developed in collaboration with Mr. DJ Ravindran and Forum Asia. Let me give a short introduction to both. Mr. DJ Ravindran is a senior human rights advocate and amongst others has the experience of leading the human rights divisions of the United Nations mission in East Timor, Sudan and Libya. And Forum Asia is a regional human rights organization based in Bangkok. It brings with it the experience of 67 member organizations in around 21 countries. Why should we learn about fact-finding and recording? Let's hear from Forum Asia. Whenever you think of human rights work, um, whether it's with a human rights organization or as an activist, um, one of the first things that come to mind is the importance of information of fact-finding, of making sure that what you're doing or what you're saying is based on actual factual information. Think about it. When a person comes to your office and says he's a, he or she is a human rights defender, that it's been harassed or attacked, one of the first things you do is to ask for the basic information, the basic facts of what happens. Or say in a case where you hear about human rights defender that has been uh, arrested or even worse than that has been killed you'll try to verify what happens. Maybe there's rumors, maybe there's suspicions of foul play, of arbitrary detention or involvement of um, authorities. So there again, you want to make sure that what you're saying or what you're going to do is based on actual information. So you'll look for more information. You contact um, other organizations. You'll try to research. All of that is fact-finding. It's even more crucial in situations where you might not know exactly what happened. Say in an example where a human rights offender is killed while working on a new um, on advocacy against a new dam that's being built. You might think that the killing might have happened because of his work and so maybe you'll issue a press statement. Maybe you even contact the UN Special Rapporteur to submit a briefing but then afterwards you hear rumors that maybe actually the person was killed because of something altogether or for personal reasons. Um, in that case, your, your actions become embarrassing. It might even jeopardize your credibility. So there it becomes extra clear to make sure that whatever you do or say is always based on fact-finding, of making sure that what happened is actually true. That's not only the case for fact-finding itself. It also is important to make sure that the information you use is stored properly, is recorded properly, is documented properly, and also securely and safely so that whenever you want to go back to a case, you can easily find information that is uh, well stored, well organized, and doesn't get lost. Because in the end of the day, all the information that you use, all the factual data that you use represents real people. It's not just stories. It's real people behind it that have their rights be violated, that are being harassed, or that are facing serious violations difficulties in their daily lives and those are the people that we're helping and those are the people that we try to support and so for them it's, make, it's extra important to make sure that the information we use is true so that we do fact finding. And this is here where the importance of fact finding and recording information lies and that's why this course. This course on fact finding and documentation covers the following topics importance of fact-finding in human rights work, application of human rights standards, sources of information and standards of gathering evidence, steps in collecting information, challenges involved in fact-finding, information recording, and digital security. The lessons have been taught using lectures with relevant graphics and notes, illustrative examples, practice exercises with model answers and quiz, and key takeaways for each lesson to help you summarize. So let's begin. 